Water, the key to life, is also a bringer of death. Globally, each day, almost 1,000 children under five die from diarrhea caused by contaminated water. More than 2.4 billion people, a third of all humanity, have no access to sanitation. And as populations grow, water becomes a new source of danger, of conflict, given the rapid urban expansion of Latin America, Sub-Saharan Africa and Southeast Asia. Meanwhile, as climate change continues, we'll see more extreme and frequent droughts, floods and typhoons. Again, people in developing countries will be hardest hit by waterborne disasters. To help national governments and the global community prepare and respond to these challenges, the United Nations University carries out research and training on various water-related issues. Using the latest evidence-based research, our staff feed into policy planning worldwide, providing economic, political and social recommendations to help ensure human development, welfare and survival. As of 2015, UNU has a total of 60 water projects at institutes like UNU Inwe in Canada, UNU INRA in Ghana, and UNU IAS in Japan, among several others. Of these projects, 24 broadly focus on Asia, 16 on Africa, and 8 on the Americas. The guiding theme of World Water Week 2015 is of crucial importance to UNU. Using water for development is a key plank in two projects at UNU Merit in the Netherlands, one focusing on India, the other on Kenya. The Finnish and Finnish Inc. projects aim to improve not only health and sanitation, but also local economies, helping local engineers and firms to build and maintain modern toilets. Working with partners like UNICEF, the scope is massive. A toilet is built by Finnish India every three to four minutes. The ultimate goal is to build half a million by 2016. Yet water is just one piece of the puzzle for both development and the environment. Hence the Nexus approach, designed by UNU Flores in Germany, which aims to encourage more sustainable management of water, soil and waste, while working with partners like UNEP and UNESCO. According to this approach, environmental resources are inextricably linked and so need to be governed in an integrated way. For more details on all our research and training, from water to poverty to the green economy, visit unu.edu.